Welcome to another edition of Hollywood Fast Track. I'm Shandy Fennessy, and today we're at DreamWorks. You know, the makers of Ants, Shark Tale, and the Shrek movies. Good morning, good morning to you and you. Well, they've been busy like bees lately, bringing their latest bee movie to life, which just so happens to be the long-awaited theatrical debut of Jerry Seinfeld. Well, Jerry Seinfeld's voice, anyway. I can say anything I want right now. Ta honey! Shave my antenna. Honey! Check up with a grasshopper. Let's go and talk to the animators and see just what it takes to turn Jerry and his friends into funny flying bees. This is Gabe Hordos, the supervising animator on Bee Movie. Tell us a little bit about Bee Movie. Well, it's about a little bee. His name is Barry. He, uh, he grows up in the hive. He's just about to graduate from uh, university. And he doesn't want to... He doesn't really know what he's going to do afterwards. But choose carefully, because you'll stay in the job that you pick for the rest of your life. So one day he ends up sort of sneaking out of the hive with these pollen jocks, which are like these really cool, muscular bees who get to go out of the hive and get the honey. Now, Gabe, you are the supervising animator. Yes. So what does that entail? Uh, it's basically a position of working closely with Jerry with all the other animators. And we work together in a way, uh, sort of trying to figure out what this vision Jerry has. And he's very, very specific because the movements um, are Jerry. What Barry does is basically what Jerry does. And so he uh, just, oh, Thank you And then it's up to us to try and figure out how to make this little bee work like Jerry. Really? And that was the hard part because as an animator, you, you know, you work frame by frame, pose by pose, trying to figure out sort of how to make this character do this. And when Jerry does a movement like, you know, something like that, it's up to you to figure out how to make it work. You know, it's funny because some movements are really difficult to, to figure out how to do. So you spend a lot of time, just like weeks, figuring out something that's going to go by in two seconds. You know, and it's just really analyzing what you're seeing and what real life does. And sometimes you're, you know, you're walking down the street and you... You see a little kid in a stroller that no one's paying attention to. Got these beautiful little movements and it's such a waste because no one's seeing it. And it's just like, oh man, if I could animate that, I would be a very happy person. Does it get though kind of tedious when you're literally slaving away for days and days and days to get maybe three seconds? No. The more you animate, the, the better you get, obviously. When you start animating, you kind of, you know, as a young person, you just figure out how to do bouncing balls. But when you actually get into acting, like, what really makes a person, you know, like, you know, what, what happens in a person's mind and body to make them portray an emotion? I'm trying to figure that out. It sounds a little boring if you don't know how to do it, but man, when you get into it, it's just, it's amazing. So how long have you been working on the Bee movie? I came on the movie a little bit late. I didn't start right at the beginning because I was finishing up on another film for DreamWorks, but... As soon as I came on the film, I realized this was something different. I mean, Jerry really pushed us in places that we didn't normally go, and I think we probably did the same to him a little bit. And it was an extremely collaborative uh, process, you know, something like I've never experienced before. All of you, bring the That's it for Hollywood Fast Track, brought to you by Milk, the healthier alternative. We'll see you next time on Hollywood Fast Track. Ah, you're too late. It's ours now. You, sir, are about to be launched for my iguana Ignacio. Ooh.